let's corrupt some images. So I'm going to show you how to make stuff like this. Um, maybe I can make it a full screen. These are JPEGs, but they're JPEGs that um, I have uh, manipulated. And, you know, um, eventually we're corrupting files. So eventually we're going to get something like this. Um, but before you get there, you can get kind of weird, interesting stuff, um, weird artifacts. Like why, why is my hat and jacket like that? But the rest of it's like the other way. I, I don't have answers. This does this isn't going to be like a tutorial with answers, but um, is that is that I think that's kind of cool. I think these things are kind of cool. It's a it, it's become a bit of a rabbit hole. And so what I'm doing here is um I just want to show, I just want to like demonstrate how it happens, honestly for my own purposes as much for, for anything else. So let's let's get to it. Um so we need we need some original images. Um, I'm going to make a new folder. Um, but so what you got to start with is you got to start with like a nice clean image. Um, uh, and to, and we're going to fuck it up. So I'm going to make a copy of it, which I, I think I already did, but I'll make a new copy of it. Um, my friend Sean took that photo. It's a nice photo of me and some of my friends. And then we're also going to take this other photo. My friend Clifton took this photo. Um, and uh and shit duplicate okay cool um so we're ready to make some glitch art we've got our two pictures which we're just gonna fuck up um we're just gonna totally um corrupt these images and the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna use a, a program called not not git we're gonna use shit what's it called um hex editor hex fiend uh, so this you can download. This is a Mac only program. Um, there's other hex editors. I think they're they're free, um, but they're cool because what we can do is we can open. We're gonna go to the. We're gonna open these files, um, but we're gonna open them uh, not with preview, but with the, which one? Let's do the. Let's do the photo with the people in it first. So now what we're looking at is we're looking at the, the hexadecimal representation of this image. Um, and so I don't, I don't know what audience this is for, so I don't know how much to explain things. Um, uh, these are numbers. Um, they have letters in them because they're numbers that count up to 16 instead of up to 10. And over here, we can see that it's not encrypted or anything. It's given us some information. Um, but this is the header of the JPEG. And then down here is the pixel data. And it's not pixel data like all organized and clean because it's JPEG. So it's like compressed, um, but it's it's legit pixel data. So now if we open up this image, oh fuck, it's, a, it's not a clean image. God damn it. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, we're back. Um, I've got an image and I've got um, the, the the hexadecimal representation. And so the first thing I want to show you is that once we jump into this pixel data, we can mess around in it. Like we can take a whole big chunk and I'm just going to copy it. So I deleted it. And look, we we deleted that pixel data. And let's say I actually want to put it down there. There it is. It's it's a almost a like one to one correspondence. And now it looks like Andy has short legs. So that's kind of funny. This could be a funny prank, you know. But anyway, so that's a that's a kind of edit you can make. And and weird things happen. Like what's why did that turn yellow? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it did. Um, so that's the first kind of edit you can make. And that was the first thing I was doing. And you can even like, like, obviously you can, you're, you're making kind of like row edits here because that's how the data is stored. Um, uh, and so, and, but you can be like less clean about it if you want. Um, and, but then theoretically you could like rotate it, you know, like that. And then you could keep making edits, um, uh, and such. 
I just did um, Apple R, Apple L in preview is a nice way to, to do things. And then the other thing to just keep in mind as you're doing this is you got to save as you go. So I'm going to delete or I, and when I say I delete, I'm usually copying. So I'm going to copy out of that. And now nothing changed in the image. But once I save it in hex fiend, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I made changes in the preview is what happened just now. So I went, I rotated it left and right. And I, in my, my dumb brain, I was like, oh, I made a change, but I changed it back. So it won't do anything. But the computer is like, you changed something. So let's see what happens now. Okay. Yeah. So anyways, that's, that, that's fun. You know, and when I, when I figured out how to do this, I, I spent, I, 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 I was spending a lot of time just at this pixel space, but then I did a thing and I'm not going to show you this, but what I did was I copied the header and I gave the header to chat GPT. And I was like, chat GPT, what is going on? What's going on? And chat GPT was like, Oh, that's it recognized what it was. And it was like, yep, yeah, you don't want to mess with that. And I was like, no, chat GPT, I do want to mess with it. And it was like, well, you, you really don't. And it like told me why not. And I was like, okay, it's for art projects. Um, I want to mess with it. And they're like, well, I guess you could do some things. And what it told me to do um, was look for the FFDB, which is either the Huffman encoding. There's two algorithms we're going to mess with today. I don't remember if this one's Huffman. One of them is Huffman. Um, which is an algorithm that's used in compression. I think the other one's probably an algorithm that's used in compression too. But when we look for it, um, so you can see this between the FFDBs, we have um, some uh, an encoding, and um, that's that's the that's that's in the header, and it's telling the preview program. I might be wrong about all this. Like every everything I say, take it with a grain of salt. But um, that's telling the preview how to like deal with the data it's getting. So if we change that, like let's take that one A, let's make it one F. See what happens. Oh, nothing happened. Okay, because that that's going to happen sometimes too. Let's make a bigger change. Let's make it FF. Oh wow! See, so. Um, so so we we changed the the um what did we do yeah I, I just sort of told the algorithm to process the data differently i don't know but anyways and that's the other thing about um corrupting these files and that's why i use the word corrupt even though that's probably not correct instead of glitch art is it's really it's a one-way street like like i can remember i can go back let's go back to 1a now we're back but once you start making changes, like now, let's say that's, I really like that. And I, I do kind of like that. Um, and I'm going to send it, I'm going to send it to, this is Phil and Latevin and Andy. I'm going to send them, hey, check out this thing I made. So now I, I would want to duplicate and, um, and name it something like, like lost color, Andy short legs. <laughs> um, so now I saved that one. And now if I want to keep going, which I do, I'm going to keep going here. So FFDB is, I remember that one because it's like database. And then FFC4 is the other algorithm that ChatGPT told me about. And C4 is a helpful thing to remember because we're, it, it's like an explosive. Once we make a change to the FFC4 header, it's going to make big, big changes. So let's do it. And I, and I just figured out where in the FFC4 by trial and error. I don't, again, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and I think, I think if I remember right, no, it's this, it's this sequence that you can change and kind of interesting things happen. So let's, let's make a big change. Oh, and we made too big of a change. So what just happened is um, we, we went too far. <laughs> I'm going to go back, I go back while I still remember. And then we got to, we got to, um, Okay, we're back. So that was too much of a change. See, C4, you gotta be careful with C4. Oh, three, we're just gonna change it to two. <gasps> and I think we're done. I think we're done with that image because what else can we do? Chaos, it's chaos. So this time let's start in, let's start with the FFC4. Let's start with the dynamite. 
and let's oh and this is the other thing that's kind of interesting so we made a change here and it'll make a big change right i'm just going to show you yeah we don't want to do that so and maybe this is the huffman one because if we make a change later down in the sequence you see how it goes like one two three four five six seven eight nine let's make a change to eight i don't know why i'm just feeling like let's make an eight of seven seven's a cool number that didn't do anything how did that not do anything let's make that one a two Another thing when you're doing this is you always got to check and make sure you're actually editing the image you think you're editing because you can very easily open the wrong image and then you're making changes to a file and nothing's happening. It's weird that nothing happened just then. Let's make a five, a one. Okay, so we're trying to find that sweet spot and I'm kind of not doing a very good job of it. Okay, that's, I mean, that's interesting, I guess. What I'm looking for is something that will, I can show you kind of what I'm trying to do. Um, it's edits like this, like for some reason, like with the C4, you can sometimes get stuff like that, um, but it's just not happening for me right now. We'll try one more time. Three, let's make it a five. I'm just totally guessing on these numbers. Yeah, that's not really doing much, is it? It's either making like no changes or lots of changes. Well, let's try DB, FFDB, because um, I could be remembering this stuff wrong. The other thing about, yeah. So we have a relatively clean image and we're just making a single change on FFDB. And the place that I've had luck making changes in FFDB is the, oh shit, I don't remember. Now I'm, oh, is it here? Hmm. That's interesting. FFDB. I could have sworn there were more FFDBs. Let's make the one C a one F. Or no, we'll make that FF. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that's what happens. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been the tutorial. Um, how to corrupt images. Although I don't know if you how to make glitch art. Um. Uh. Any, yeah, yeah, that's all I want to say. Okay.